Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be having the theories episode 12, guys. And this episode is about Elsa's twin sister. So guys, get ready for some major news, and if we've all watched the episode, we know a lot of crazy stuff happened. Some stuff that you can't even explain sometimes. Okay guys, let's get into the video. We're going to start with the first mystery here, and we're going to give our theories on it. Let's go. Hey okay, guys, I'm sure we can all see VM, or like the real VM said, an imposter at the back. Well, this is the scene where Elsa and Belle were on their way to the real world, where Layla is. Well, Layla is Elsa's twin sister, which Elena, Elsa's daughter, told her about. So this is when Belle and Elsa were about to make a portal to go to the real world. And then, VM, who has been accounted as an imposter, well, the imposter VM who's lurking around, which was in the last video, left an M there in the last video. Um, the last video was the Gold Digger Seals Rich Boyfriend episode, yeah. That was the last video that this imposter VM was in and left an M on a cheer. Now, this time, this VM comes in in the bushes and leaves an A on the tree. You know what I think? This imposter is trying to help us to solve something. Like, I don't know. It's trying to help us to guess a name or something. Because this imposter keeps leaving letters for us. So I think we have to solve some kind of riddle or something. But I'm not sure, guys. That's what I think, at least. And what does it spell? I'm not sure. Ma, there's an M and there's an A. It could be scattered. The word might not start with an M, but M is the first letter that's given to us, so I'm not sure. On to the next theory. Anyways, when Elsa and Belle get to the real world without an idea of the A on the tree, when they get to the real world, they come to Layla's uh, magic show, trick kind of show something, and yeah, they come to that and they spot Layla. And of course, trust Belle and her intellect. She's already getting such vibes from this Layla girl. Anyways, they meet her. She seems so great, awesome. She's famous. Someone comes for her autograph, blah, blah, blah. She says Harry Styles is into her. All this type of stuff. And then she suggests this, that Elsa and her should switch places and see how each other's lives are for at least a day. Well, Belle doesn't find it like a convincing kind of fun plan. She finds it like an evil plan or something. But Elsa, who's too overwhelmed by her twin sister, says yes. And then they switch places. Elsa becomes a star and she has no idea how to keep up with it. Guys, you may think popularity is everything. But, you know, for people who've never been popular, it might be hard. Sometimes it's hard because you sometimes you get overworked. But yeah, I still want to be popular. Anyways, guys, so the other part, uh, Layla at Starlight, who has no idea what she's doing there, um, gets asked out by Jack, Jack Frost, and she says yes, even though she's going to be gone by tonight, and that's the time for the date. She says yes, and when Belle asks her why, she said she's not returning to the real world, never. Then she banishes Belle into the real world and keeps her there and fakes as Elsa. What is wrong with her? Anyways, guys, Elsa, uh, Belle gets to the real world. She tells Elsa all about it. Elsa figures it all out and yeah. So before Elsa and Belle could come back to Starlight, she was already caught by the other students and FG. And do you know why she was caught? She acts very differently. Actually, she never calls Jack Frost. What did she call him? I don't know. But she never uses nicknames. Also, she was shivering when the radiator went out and there was too much cold in starlight. And she didn't even want to get Heath back for what he did to her daughter. So she acted very different. So after them stopping her, she appeared in the real world where Belle and Elsa are. And then she started blaming the Queen of Snakes for what happened. She even brought out a snake to try and convince them. But obviously, Elsa couldn't even get deceived twice. She didn't even fall for it. Well, at the end of everything, Elsa and her Starlight crew went back to Starlight. 
and Belle and Elsa started talking about it. Elsa, you know, she she apologized for not listening to Belle, and Belle said something interesting. Well, before Belle said something, Elsa was like, but how could this happen? Elena, her daughter, was the one who told her about Layla. So did Elena lie? And Belle was like, Elena didn't lie. Elena said she saw Layla in a book. And those were one of the books that Heath sent the daughters into. So this was obviously all Heath's plan. And she was right. And at the end, which was the last scene, we see uh, Layla talking to Heath. And Layla was apologizing because the plan didn't go as they expected. But Layla did say that she convinced them that it was the Queen of Snakes. And they totally fell for it. You know what? I think they did not fall for it. I mean, Belle thinks it's Heath, so Belle didn't fall for it. You know, Layla has no idea that the princesses at Starlight know that it isn't Queen of Snakes. Layla thinks that the Queen of Snakes... Layla thinks that she's already deceived them to think that it's the Queen of Snakes who did it. But Layla ends up actually working with Heath. And one thing I find strange, when FG and the other people at Starlight came and caught, you know, Layla and they already caught her and brought her to the real world while Belle and Elsa were, while Belle and Elsa were when I, like I said before, one thing that Layla said was that in the real world, everyone has their doppelganger. Like, in the real world, there are people that look like people from Starlight, and that is just strange. I don't know if we're going to see these characters, you know, as the show goes on, but I'm not sure. But guys, before I even get into the shoutouts or anything like that, there has been a popular short, which was actually posted by Mal. It wasn't uploaded by the Queen of Snakes. If we know, the short is called, Can You Help Mal Solve the Riddle? Let's get into that. Well, Mal is actually in the computer lab of Starlight in this short, and she's trying to solve the riddle, you know, about the Queen of Snakes being bad or good. But before Mal could continue, the Queen of Snakes glitched into the short and said that uh, no one knows if she's bad or good. And she asked us what we think, if she's bad or good. And then she gave us a clue. A ring of sun, a ring of night, bring them together, what was lost becomes light. That says, but guys, if you have any theories on what this riddle is, put it in the comments because I don't know. I don't even know what this means. A ring of sun, ring of night, bring them together. What's lost? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. But yeah. Anyways, Mal is back talking to us, and she realized that the Queen of Snakes just glitched in, and she asked us what we think this clue means or anything. And guys, there has also been a recent short which is posted by the Queen of Snakes. It's called What If Belle Married Gaston? What her life would be like. And this is posted by the Queen of Snakes, guys. So look out for more shorts and more episodes. Anyways, guys, yep, that's it. Guys, we cannot leave without the shout out. So let's just get right into it. This one will be quick, actually. Uh, guys, I don't want to give anyone any personal shout out or anything. But all I'm going to say is shout out to all of you. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. Like, literally the best. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want more videos like this. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Turn on your bell notifications so you never miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Hashtag Vicky Nation. Bye. Love you. Looks just like a city of pines